I think this bill uh, will definitely be passed um, in uh, like weeks because it is a, a political mission uh, by uh, Beijing. And uh, the Beijing policy in Hong Kong is trying to weaponize law as a mean to have a total control in Hong Kong. And this bill also is a test on the authority um, of Xi Jinping, uh, who is the guy uh, of the uh, total in charge of Hong Kong policy. So I, I think with no doubt uh, this bill uh, will be passed as uh, Beijing will have the tools uh, to have a total control over Hong Kong. So, Bruce, it certainly looks like you're saying that there is a good justification behind these protest protesters' call to retract the bill. What would be the practical repercussions in terms of human rights, as you pointed out, freedom of a press? As a for, foreign journalist working here in Hong Kong, do I have a reason to worry? Yeah, I think um, a lot of people, no matter you are local or foreigners, um, some of them uh, really have ground uh, to worry. Uh, wh why did I say so? Uh, because this bill uh, can use kind of uh, national security as a reason um, to, you know, file the fugitive warrant uh, to transfer the fugitive to mainland China. Uh, we know that Hong Kong judicial system, we have independent system uh, that is trustworthy. But uh, when we link up to the system of mainland China, which is lack of transparency, lack of uh, human rights protection, and also it is led by the party, uh, but not a really kind of rule of law, it is rule of man. So if we have this kind of uh, system to transfer the people back to mainland in the name of so-called national security. And that is very dangerous uh, to Hong Kong people. If you are a journalist or if you are a businessman that are uh, being treated as enemy to mainland China, and you will uh, have all kinds of excuses uh, being targeted by mainland China. In the past, we have cases like the uh, Causeway Bay bookstore and also businessmen uh, who, you know, provoke mainland China are being targeted. So, uh, and also, uh, uh, I want to emphasize that what is the definition of national security? Uh, in the legislation in mainland China, uh, it is defined as the party security uh, as the national security. That is the Communist Party's own uh, security uh, equals to the state security. And that is uh, very dangerous and the definition is very broad. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.